I see. Well, hello, chaps and chap. It's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellas. And we are discussing here now whether or not the brand new character Ukulele should be in Super Smash Brothers. We most certainly are. Yes, indeed. Of course, a lot of hype around which characters should be in Super Smash Brothers. Yes. And of course, with this open voting that they've got now, Nintendo are doing to see you know where fans can actually vote and vote on a character they want to see. In the game, it's quite this exciting. Is yes, it's exciting, and it's an interesting point here. Right, indeed. So the first question on your mind is no yes. doubt going to be, well, who on earth is this ukulele? Exactly. Now, who is ukulele? Well, we do know that yuka is um like a lizard, and lele is like a bat. Ah, you see. So ukulele is actually a duo. It's not a single character, then. Most certainly, yes, indeed. But where did it come from? Well, it's it's be well the people behind it are those that did Banjo Kazooie, another character that's been mentioned for inclusion in Smash Bros. I see. Okay, so basically, this ukulele is actually an all-new property by some of the senior staff from Rare, who were, of course, the creative force behind uh, legendary games like the Donkey Kong Country series, Banjo Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, and many more. These are apparently this new group is called uh, Playtonic Games, I believe, and they are con uh, comprised of a lot of the senior staff from Rare. And apparently, they've been hard at work these past few months making this brand new character here, ukulele, originally called Project Ukulele, as in the music instrument. Yes. A bit like the banjo, I suppose. It's That's also it. an instrument, isn't it, old chap? Yes. But anyway, these are, of course, two new characters they've come up with, and apparently the chap who made these was the same fellow who made uh, Banjo-Kazooie and also the modern Kongs, etc. and so forth. Oh, uh, most certainly. So there you are. So you've got some big names in the industry working on these characters, but the question I have to ask here is, what do they actually do? Well, exactly. That's the thing, you see. So rather interesting background to this character, and you may have seen some uh, screenshots, etc. on the screen as we've been talking about this new thing, the new character. So so it's actually a game. They're making a game. They're going to make a game called Ukulele, I believe. Yes, that's and right. this is the main character. Which, which is, is meant to be a revival of the old N64 days of 3D platforming. Exactly. So this is where it gets interesting. Can we have... We, we all know it's, it's rather popular. I know they've raised quite a lot already for this game. It's looking popular out there. But can we have a brand new character, as it were, suddenly coming like this, sort of just out of nowhere, although it's got sort of Banjo-Kazooie backgrounds, in Smash Brothers? Is right. it something that we can actually do? Would it actually work? Well, I mean, first you have to say what would the characters actually bring to the table in terms of a moveset. Well, I think they're quite an interesting duo there. The uh, Yuka fellow, the green lizard chap, has tongue-whipping and tongue-lashing attacks. Presumably he's some kind of lizard, I suppose, or a gecko or something. Yes. And meanwhile, the lady bat there, lady, uh, attacks using things like sonar blasts and presumably things like screeching at her foes. So you have quite a varied moveset there. Very interesting indeed. Yes, of course. And uh, it seems that uh, the uh, the Yuka and Lady stay together with little Lady sort of hanging around on his head sort of thing and grabbing onto his ears. I don't know where you can see the screenshots there. Um, a little bit like, sort of pairing up, a bit like Luma and Rosalina, I suppose. Well, I suppose in some vague similarity, but this is this isn't quite the same as that because no. of course you have two characters who are almost equal here a bit like Banjo and Kazooie now of course Banjo and Kazooie have themselves also been cited as possible characters for inclusion in Smash Brothers yeah. so I don't think you could have both Banjo and Ukulele no I don't think you could um, I don't know what chances Banjo's got um, uh, to get in the game but this is a rather interesting thought having this new character that seems to be very popular. Right off the bat, the thing seems to be very popular. A lot of backing for it, a lot of interest. Just to give you an idea, I think they raised over a million British pounds, that's about one and a half million dollars, within something ridiculous like 48 hours of the project going live. It was absolutely crazy interest in the game. Most certainly. Now, we just mentioned some ideas there of possible moves he could have. Lashing attacks, all sorts of other things going on there. Um, but the thing is, would Nintendo consider this uh, a game like this, or a character from a game, that looks rather a fun little character in their game, or take it as one of the voting votes, if you like, on the on, on the on the form they've got and on the ballot they're doing. Even though the game hasn't come out yet, exactly. would they sort of think, well, it looks pretty popular? Uh, could they dare take a chance like that? Well, uh, if you ask me, you know, uh, putting a brand new character in the game like this would constitute a very big advertisement by Nintendo for that game. And we have to bear in mind that Ukulele is being targeted not just at Nintendo platforms, but at all platforms, including PC. Is it really? It oh, is. I see. So, is it? When you say that, is it mainly a game 
uh, sort of directed at Nintendo or everywhere as well. Well, I think it's a bit naughty here because it's, it's very much directed at Nintendo fans and those who played the N64, but they're saying you can play this game on any platform, not just Nintendo, because, of course, it's not currently in any way affiliated with Nintendo themselves. Right, I see. Aha. Well, that would be sensible, or well, make sense, because obviously they want to make money out of the game, and the well, more platforms they've got it on, uh, the more money I presume they can make. Yes, uh, that's right, of course. So I think very much uh, we have um, uh, certainly a game that's from a lot of the rare staff here, and many Many people are very interested in this game because of the talent of the team behind it. But you know, um, as regards of viability in terms of all the legal red tape and that sort of thing, I, uh, it's hard to say whether they could make it into Smash at this early stage. Uh, most certainly, it's a very interesting point, and I've no doubt the chaps and chapettes are going to have sort of who haven't seen or heard about this yet, that are yes. listening, are going to go away, have a little study at this, and then do a bit of chin rubbing and think, hmm, now I wonder if it could do or could not, or should perhaps we just forget the whole thing of this um, ukulele thing. And, and you know, put in a banjo kazooie instead. Well, um, I, I'm just at least we know them. I'm reading here from the uh, Project Kickstarter page. It says here, back in the mid '90s, uh, Steve Mails came up with a famous bear and bird duo, uh, and a platforming classic was born. And of course, the same chap has come up with these two characters here, based on banjo and kazooie. It also says here, our heroes are equipped for adventure like a cyborg Indiana Jones, and brought to life by the voice of banjo and kazooie himself. So of course, very much playing to the fans there with the the idea of the two heroes, both of whom have their own unique movesets, therefore making a very interesting concept for a potential Smash Brothers fighter. I think I absolutely agree with you, yes, I think that's the case. And I think also the game itself, um, quite apart from whether they should be in Smash Brothers or not, could be quite popular, I think, if they follow the trend and the feel of the old Banjo-Kazooie type game, especially yes. with fans that remember that game, that would always say, yes, I'd like to have a go of that, you know, and play that one. Uh, yes, and in this one, rather than collecting jiggies, you have to collect pages. Uh, the golden bounty used to unlock and expand new areas of the game. So, there you are. Ah, yes, very interesting indeed. Of course, that wouldn't be relevant for Smash Brothers, but could I see this character in it? Could we see this character in Smash Brothers? What do you think, Chaps and Chapettes? Well, certainly, I think he has the right appearance of a Super Smash Brothers character. He's got all the charm there, and even, dare I see, a drop of perhaps Nintendo feel about him, although perhaps uh, his face there is quite blocky, I think. Not not 100% Nintendo style, but it certainly has the right appeal to appear in Super Smash Brothers. But then some other people might argue and say, well, you know, maybe this is the kind of character that would, would be better suited to, you know, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale as opposed to Super Smash Brothers. Well, yes, now that's a good point. Um, are there sort of particular characters that people only want to see within Smash Brothers? And does this one perhaps not fit the bill? Would we accept uh, Banjo-Kazooie, for example, as we said earlier, but not this chap? But, I mean, just playing with it and just looking at the character itself and the moves it, moves it can do, or could do, perhaps, I mean, what could be perhaps a final smash for this character if it was included? A final smash? That's a very good question, of course. We don't entirely know what that could be, although, um, uh, yes, I have to say, did you know that yes. one of their moves apparently will involve a giant fart bubble? Ah! Oh, well, I, I don't quite know what that involves, but, uh, you know, it sort of sounds Final Smashy to me. Uh, well, it sort of does, but it's kind of pinching old... Uh, it's Wario's gag, well, really, yes, isn't it? It's sort of pinching Wario's uh, style, that one, isn't it? I mean, really, yes, it is, but uh, a bit crude there, perhaps, but, you know, that's uh, what the team are partly known for, of course. Okay. Also, uh, apparently, they're going to have a sky-soaring move, which could no doubt double as their recovery move in Super Smash Brothers. Ah, yes, in most certainly, yes, yeah, you've said it just there, haven't you? Um, that, that move there could be uh, put into the game of Super Smash, of course. I like the idea of sonar blasting as well. I think that could be used. He could use to stun the enemies, perhaps, the sonar blasting move there. And also his tongue whipping could be used as a grab. Uh, most certainly, I, um, possibly, yes, good idea. I was thinking of whipping them off their feet, but yes, it could do, most certainly, I suppose. Yes. I suppose, if you think about it, we haven't really got too many characters that use differing kinds of weapons, have we? I mean, well, of course, we, we've got lots and lots of sword users there, we have even a book user, but various other implements we don't really see that often in the game. No, that's true. No, we don't. And I think there's room for that in there. And maybe a character like this uh, you know, could accommodate that. We don't know. Yes, and I, I think if you ask me, the number one rival for this character would, of course, be Banjo and Kazooie. So before Nintendo took any steps um, towards looking at ukulele, they'd have to say, would the fans prefer to see Banjo instead of this new character? Yes, that's interesting, of course, and sparks the thought that could this ukulele character, could it sort of open the door, if you like, for people's thoughts uh, to vote for um, Banjo? Banjo-Kazooie to actually um, get in Smash Brothers. In other words, could he be 
Perhaps he might not get in. Perhaps it might give Banjo Kazooie more chances to get in. Um, well, I think so. But you know, uh, just a, a word on Banjo Kazooie. There, if they are going to put Banjo Kazooie in Super Smash Brothers, I don't think they should use the nuts and bolts design for him, because of course that particular design was used only on Microsoft platforms. We ah. know that Phil Spencer has given the OK for Banjo Kazooie, but I'm sure he'd have the blocky nuts and bolts design in mind, as opposed to his classic N64 appearance. That's a good point, yes, I suppose you'll have to think about that. So I do think there's quite a lot of red tape in the way of Banjo, unfortunately, and, uh, you know, just from, the, from a, a red tape perspective, perhaps ukulele might not actually not have such a rough time of getting in after all if you compare him with Banjo. Well, I suppose so. Thinking about that, yes, you're sort of thinking Banjo should... He's more popular or well-known, he's got more chance, but I, I suppose it depends. Perhaps it depends how much stake, or if any, Nintendo might have in this game. Well, I don't think they have anything to do with it at the moment, you'll see. It is, of course, made up of X-Rare team members, but the game itself and, of course, Playtonic have nothing to do with Rare, Microsoft or Nintendo, for that matter. Mm. So perhaps his chances are looking a little bit more grim, then? Well, I don't know, but one thing's for sure, Fadils, this game is definitely in development. If you're interested in that kind of thing, you can even back it if you like, or no doubt pick up the game when it comes out. But certainly, this has been Game Chap and Buddy bringing you a discussion here on the chances of this new duo of getting in our favourite fighting game. <laughs> Most certainly, what do you think? Do you think he should be in, or do you think characters, perhaps, that haven't been sort of seen before like this one... That haven't have, stood the test of time. Haven't stood the test of time being played, have a chance in, or do you think it's, a, it's absolutely ridiculous, I do, or do you think, well, I don't care, I think I'll just... I like the look of the game, I think I'll play it. Well, indeed. Or Let us know your thoughts, videos on yes. the possibility of this duo's inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Thank you most kindly for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you once more in the next exciting hour, guys. Hey, until then!